Hello guys and welcome back to Planet Zoo. Today we are on episode 5 in Turesto Park and we are building the Proboscis Monkeys Habitat today. I think that's how you said. So we're sticking with the map theme, we're going to keep it nice and sleek, clean and sharp. Keep the bills looking very, it's kind of the cold looking I would say, but they're very simple. And you kind of look at them and you think to yourself, well, there's not much going on, but... I've noticed when I look at a lot of modern architecture that involves concrete, it's very flat, it's very simple, and it's 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 kind of like they've got unique shapes to them. But in terms of everything else, there's nothing else on it. It's like there's very minimal added things, and it's just that pure concrete sort of feeling that you get. And that's kind of what I was going with today as well. So I did have a little bit of inspiration from a uh, it was a, I think it was a sanctuary I saw online, and um, it was for the monkeys. And they had this kind of like double viewing area. So you had the top platform where you could go in and you could see into the habitat, and then you'd come down to another platform where you could get even closer to them. So that's what I went with. And you'll probably see later on at the end of the episode that when the guests were coming down the stairs, which I mean they they surprisingly come straight down the stairs. It was really nice to see. I thought they were going to use them but they did and they come down the stairs and it was like literally once you come down those stairs that is it there is no returning because it was absolutely ramo on the stairs you couldn't move anywhere you couldn't get back up it was just yeah they was all literally stuck down the bottom but yes with the, with the lower platform area i like the fact that you can get really really close to the monkeys and i was expecting them to kind of climb over it but they don't go anywhere near it which is really nice i was expecting them to try and climb and escape but they haven't so after checking the map as well i can see that there's no escape areas and i was really quite surprised that after when i finished it and i looked at that i was like yeah that's that's kind of i didn't expect that um so in the actual roof i used i use a glass area so it lets more light into the actual area where you're viewing so it's not too dark in there because sometimes you can cast a real shadow inside and it kind of takes away that brightness inside and i wanted to keep it really nice and airy because we are going with this concrete kind of theme it, it can be very cold so to let the light in will brighten things up and i think it gives it a lot better, better environment for the guests when they're there and they can see inside as for the little habitat that i was building for the um for the monkeys i wanted to as i always do i normally include a nice little pond area for each habitat just so they've got a water supply without actually drinking from a water and I wanted to make it like that as like a, a custom waterfall. And I wasn't too sure how I was going to design it, but I wanted it to be like, um, it's kind of hard to explain. Like you've got, um, you've got two large materials and you've got a tiny, tiny slit in it and the water comes flowing out through there. And that's the kind of effect I was going for, that the water's coming out through the concrete at this very tiny hole. And then it's just going into the pond to give that nice sort of very clean streaming effect. I also got around to making some custom ad balls which actually came out very very well and I was sitting down with, with my wife as I was doing these and I was thinking I'm going to write some really good information on them and stuff but it was about half ten at night when I was doing it and I was extremely tired when I was doing it and I just wanted to put something that was going to be um, to give the monkeys personality so I, I wrote them a little description kind of um kind of none of them are kind of angels they've all got kind of bad little traits and stuff but it just adds a little bit of um realism to it i think because i think when i was younger i went to a few zoos in england and they had some signs up and they would say these things about animals like um how cheeky they were or how this certain animal would do something like this and yeah so i just kind of went with that vibe I also added some mini TVs onto the kind of roof where the main square is at the top near the glass panel. So you've got kind of these live viewing areas, although it's the same video uh, copied onto each one of them. You have to kind of imagine that it's a different viewing angle for each of the habitat. So you can if you can't manage to see over the concrete wall um, because they are quite high, they're not. Um, no, I actually thought they were going to be a little bit smaller but when the guests came in they could just about get their head over the top and then when the kids came in like they had no chance but then that gives you the encouragement to go down and then um, use the lower platform but I will I will adjust that I will make that lower just so they can see which probably means I will lose that tiny little hole that I made along with the, uh, the two black lines you've got like a tiny little gap and it just again it just breaks up that sort of really plain concrete but it looks like I'll have to lower that a little bit and make sure that the guests can see because it's kind of annoying that you walk in and you're just greeted with a giant concrete wall and all you can see is the top of the concrete and you can't really see him but again it's uh, the lower platform is the main idea to be using and that's what the guests have been using so that's really nice to see. So yes overall guys with that I'm going to leave it there I'll let you enjoy the rest of the episodes it's about 12 minutes long so sit back enjoy it and I hope you like it and if you do don't be afraid to give it a thumbs up as well let me know what you think down below and hopefully I'll see you in the next episode of Chuesto Park. Thank you so much for watching guys see you later bye bye.